Hello, hello everyone. It's Shelly with Chalk Couture. I'm an independent designer. It's Tuesday, Tuesday night. Sorry guys, it has been quite the day. I've been busy all day. So this was the first chance I could come and say hello to everyone. Uh, the text messaging system should go out any moment. If you would like to be alerted with a text, please comment text. Uh, if you'd like to be a part of my email distribution, go ahead and comment email. If you would like to be one of my very important people, go ahead and comment VIP. There goes the text. Say hi as you hop on. All right. If you have friends that love this kind of stuff, go ahead and give them a shout out. Go ahead and tag them in the comments. And we will begin shortly. Hopefully our video doesn't just stop on us tonight. I don't know what happened last night. That was annoying. All right. Alrighty. All right, guys. Happy Tuesday. Where am I? Happy, happy Tuesday. Put my glasses aside. So because yesterday got cut off, which was, again, annoying, um, I never got to show you a couple things that I wanted to show you. So we'll do that now, and then we'll get started with our project. So while people are hopping on, um, we'll go ahead and talk about things. Um, again, we got the Barbie car pink. This can be, um, you can get your hands on this when you place a $75 or more order. That's before tax and shipping. You, I think U.S. and Canadian. Um, once you get that much in your cart mm -hmm. and you go to check out, um, hi mom, you go to check out, it will pop up and say, yay, you, you earned it or you've opened it. I can't remember exact words, but you will be able to put one to three of these in your cart and purchase them. So this is, it is fantastic. This is such a pretty, pretty pink. Just gonna take this foil off. Let's scrape that. Get that all in our jar. There we go. So that is the luscious dream car pink. It is, it looks just like Barbie's dream car pink. That's crazy. Um, so a couple things I wanted to show you yesterday. Um, well, let's talk about this. I got the Watts of Love book. Um, I've been meaning to buy it, and I keep forgetting to do that. Um, and it's $25 on my website. And when you do, that goes all of that goes straight to Watts of Love. Okay, so this is awesome. This is a great way <clears throat> to donate, and you actually get something for it. So um, it's pretty awesome. I can't wait to... We just had our Watts of Love Wednesday on, what was it, February 1st, right? Because tomorrow's the 8th. So February 1st was 
a Wednesday, and I started something new this year where um, every first Wednesday of the month, I'm going to go live with a Watts of Love transfer that you are unable to purchase, but I can make something with it, and then you all can bid on it. So that happened on the first. So here's the book. It goes, I want to say it talks about um, Watts of Love and their intentions, but it tells you all kinds of stories of how the solar light helps them, how they be, can be financially uh, literate. And it's just amazing, all the work that they've done for Malawi and other impoverished areas. All these stories are just amazing. So next time we do Watts of Love Wednesday, so that'll be sometime in March, the first Wednesday in March, we'll maybe read a story and get to know these people a little closer. So in the website, if you want to purchase that. Then I kind of wanted to talk to you about um, our club program. So remember we did this, we did two of these the other day, welcome-ish. This is the February club transfer. If you subscribe to the club, not only will you get a free mini squeegee, okay? You'll get a free mini squeegee. You'll get the transfer. You get three paste singles that go with it. And then they are going to send you five of the past uh, club transfers from 2022. So that's really good if you're a brand new subscriber. You will get transfers that only as exclusive members can get, like a designer like myself or a club member. This is February, okay? Also in February, we, as we went through inventory, they found a whole bunch of old transfers that they thought they sold out of. Um, so now they are offering them to you at 40%. That is designer pricing, okay? Any, ob any other customer can get them for 20%, but you as a subscriber get them for 40%. That is amazing. So you get a whole ton this month with all kinds of promos. You get the five free uh, pass transfers from Club Couture. And that's April, May, June, July, and August. So April through August of 22. You could probably find them online if you want to see what they look like. Otherwise, I've posted pictures um, previously about that. And it's in the email. If you get my email, you can go back and check that out. But I want to show you March because <laughs> join in February, right? Get all those freebies. Get all those transfers at 40% off. And then March will come to you automatically. You'll get billed on March 5th, and then they start shipping out. Do you want to see March? March is so pretty, and I have, like, I think such a great idea with what I'm going to do with it. I can't wait for March to come. But here is March. Aren't those flowers so pretty? They're so dainty. It just says, just keep breathing. And I really, really love these flowers, and there's some butterflies. And we also have a transfer out now. I think it's part of the sea size transfer where it says you belong among the wildflowers and it has all these cute little wildflowers. These are so darn cute, you guys. They are so, the detail is just so petite. I just love it. So this is March, this is February, but in order to get all those promos going on this month, you have to subscribe this month, okay? And then once you do, this baby comes in the mail. Five exclusive pass transfers come in the mail. You have 40% off our specials category. And then, of course, this sweet thing comes in March. All right? So keep that in mind. If you need links or anything like that, that is in the description of the video. Otherwise, just go ahead and comment club, and I can help you uh, get started. So let's go ahead and dig into the Chalk Made Hop To It kit. This is what we're going to do today. I can't wait. It is so darling. So, so darling. All right. 
So with this kit, you get, remember, keep your backer because we're gonna use that to paint on. You get, aw, a cute little B-size transfer with some bunnies. And look at that, they have a pattern for the front and the back. That's the way to think, Jocator. We like that. We like to do the backs of things, right? So perfect. We have front and back. They give you directions. They give you three chalk paste singles. So Couture Coral, Peachy Keen, and Shimmer Harvest, my fave. And then you get three chalk trays, color trays, I think is what we call them. Um, some really pretty ribbons, so kind of like a, um, an ivory color, and then a fun little floral, and then a yellow. And this is to, to make, it's a garland. It's a garland kit. So this will help us make a garland, which is so fun. They give us, well, would you look at that? There's some little bunny cutouts in there. So they give us that. These are not, I wanna say they don't feel like our chocolate chips. They don't feel like, they are wood, cause I can see the wood grain, but they are not the boutique finish. Um, so they must just be little thin cuts, our wood thin cuts. Tons of jute so that, oops, we can make our tassels. I have a runaway bunny tail. So here's a bunny tail and another one. So just cute little cotton tails there. Um, some egg shaped beads, very cool. And then some regular farmhouse beads, okay. Lots to do in this, and this is a true crafting kit, right? Everything's here that you need. You should not need anything else other than scissors, your transfer trimmers, um, to get all the pieces separated and to cut your twine. Let's see, anything else we need to know? And we are gonna follow the directions. We are gonna to try to follow them and go step by step. Okay. All right, so it says cut your transfer. Okay, we'll do that. Fuzz them, put them on the bunny slim cut. Excuse me. Um, and then paste, and then we'll let those dry. Okay, so that's stuff we know how to do, right? Let's go ahead and get our transfer open. Again, new transfer company, so be aware of the, the copyright line or the slug line is what they call it also. Um, so the line there, information where it says the copyright and the name of it, um, it says chalk couture. That is silk screen mesh. So if you chalk over that, let's say you do these bunnies, you know, on a board or something. If you chalk on that, that will leave the impression behind. So we want to make sure we cover that with um, some kind of a tape, either transfer tape or uh, masking tape or something. All right, let's get these cut. These cut. All right. Don't need those anymore. So I am just going to number the number the bunnies. One, two, three, four. And let's write on the back. Hop to it. This is number four. To it three because they're all the same shape right you could probably put it back on any of these um, but I just like to get it on the right one I'm sure they're not exactly cut the same 
So I'm sure one would look a little different than the other, but I like to just label mine that way I know. So one and two and three and four. Okay. All right, say hi guys as you're hopping on. Let's move this, let's move that. Um, so here's a little tip. If you want to, you can pre-paint those. Um, if you don't wanna start with a white bunny, you don't have to. So they did, let's see what color they did theirs. They did one with the harvest and they did one, it looks like with the couture coral. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do both of mine with the harvest. Um, the Harvest has my heart. I really love this color. It's kind of like a mustardy color. And that's kind of like our accent color in our house. So I think I'm gonna do that for both. So let's knead it. I'm gonna get a tray. And we're probably gonna use the whole thing, I would think. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that open. And we're gonna squeeze this all into our color tray. I love making garlands. I just, I am not really good at making the tassels. So I'm kind of excited to see how they do the tassels. Now I wanna also say, they give you a little QR code to scan there and that um, you can watch the video of them making it. I don't know if, how in depth they go with the actual making of the um, tassel, but you can always watch the video too. All right, so pretty, pretty harvest. Let's go ahead and grab our transfers. We'll grab a squeegee. Now they don't tell you in the directions. Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me, I have had a tickle all day long. It's probably the stupid weather. <coughs> it's rainy and yucky. It's probably kicking up all kinds of stuff out there. Um, I'm going to wax, I think. They don't tell you to wax, but I think I'm going to do that. Because it's not, it's almost like a, a paper coated wood. I know it's not paper. It just, oops, it just looks that way to me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wax. It's not, it doesn't take much to do. Just going to get a little bit. I'll feel better knowing I waxed. So I apply it and then I just kind of vigorously buff it. It'll give it a nice chalkable surface for us here. Okay, he is waxed. They're so cute, aren't they? So adorable. Okay, let's do a bunny number one, side one. Take that off. Again, translucent, so nice. We should be able to see our bunny underneath. And this cutout 
This cutout is pretty much the shape of the bunny, okay? So we want to line him up just right. There we go. All right, that guy's down. We can also do, let's do this bunny. Let's do this bunny. Let's get him all lined up. Him, her, boy, girl. Okay, that looks good. All right, and then press that down. Make sure that is really nice and flat against your little bunnies. Then we're just gonna grab our paste and chalk the bunnies. All right, I'm pressing with a little bit of firmness, not too terribly. Okay, that's that one. Let's get this guy shocked real quick which pattern do you like better guys do you like the little plaid thing going on on the left or do you like the floral pattern on that guy this little it's not a buffalo plaid but it is a plaid we've had this plaid before in a bigger a bigger transfer Okay, oh, isn't he cute? Let's see what this one looks like. So cute. These flowers are so cute and little and petite. How cute. All right, let's get them dry. Aren't they cute? We want to make sure this side is nice and dry before we flip them over to do the other side. I probably didn't even need that whole packet. Uh, there's no way I'm going to go through that whole packet. Probably should have just squeezed that a little bit, but I can put that in my jar and it'll be just fine. So no worries there. Done, I think. These bunnies are so cute. I wish we could just get the bunnies all by themselves. Okay, that should be good. Um, I am going to get a paper towel. You know what I'm going to use? Let's use this. Let's use our fuzzing cloth, okay? Put that guy there and that guy there. Okay, now um, you could do the same pattern, uh, whatever what's on this side, you could do on that side, or you could flip-flop them. You could do the flower. I could have done the flowers on that guy, um, but we're going to keep it the same. Let's get this one lined up. Okay, there's that guy. And then... So I don't fuzz when I wax my shapes so in case anyone's wondering like why didn't she do that this is why okay 
but I will kind of press it to the fuzzing cloth and that will hold things in place real nice. Let's grab a little bit of more paste here. Little ears. So fun. So I'm just spreading the chalk paste all over where I ever wherever I see the pattern. Uh, make sure you hit those edges because sometimes the patterns close to the edge. So you want to make sure you get those edges. Alright. Alright, look at all that leftover. I should not have done that. Okay. Peel. Aw, oh, so darn stinking cute. Oh my gosh. The bunnies. I would just have the bunnies out. They're so cute. All right, let's get these dry and then we'll continue on with our instructions. Everything washes up with water, so don't feel worried about that. See, so now it says it says immediately clean your transfer with cool water. Blah 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 blah. Oh, it says use your hot glue gun to attach the cotton ball tail, so we'll turn that on. So only one side of your bunny is going to have a tail. So keep that in mind, unless you have other little cotton balls you can add. I just love that harvest color. Really wish they would bring that back in a solid. Okay. All right, bunnies are done. So you got both sides done. Fun. Let's put these guys just to the side a little bit here. All right, directions say, let's pretend we've washed everything. We'll get everything washed after we're done. Um, oh, it says to use the hot glue gun for their tails. Add a little bit of water to the paste in your color trays and mix to create a paint-like consistency. Use a paintbrush to paint your wooden eggs and beads. Allow time for the painted eggs and beads to dry. Okay. So, I think I'm going to keep my eggs white because that just makes sense to me. So, we're going to keep those white. Um, let's see what we got here. Here's all of our beads. Lots of beads, guys. Lots of beads. All right. Let's see what they did. They did like two regular and then the bigger one they colored. So they colored the bigger of the beads. How many do we have? We have four, five, six, six of the bigger beads and then all the regular beads. So, um, let's see, the other colors are Couture Coral and Peachy Keen. I think I'm gonna try to keep this as natural as I can. Um, but we also have gray, like so our walls are all gray. I think I'm gonna paint these storm. I'm gonna go a little off 
the color theme here and go storm. That's what I think I'm gonna do. So let me go ahead. I'm just gonna squirt in here some water. Um, and then what do I wanna do? I wonder if this will be strong enough to hold them. Let's give this a little extra spritz of a um, just a light tack adhesive spray. I'm going to do it over my garbage so that it doesn't go all over the place. This stuff tends to fly everywhere. Okay, and then I'm going to kind of dry it a little bit so it dries to a little bit of a tackiness. And then we'll put the beads on there. Okay. So I know for sure we're gonna do those black. So let's go ahead and just attach these. All right, or no, we're gonna do them gray, I'm sorry. We're gonna do them storm. And then I'm gonna read the directions because I wanna see like what the pattern is that they did. So let me do that, let's see. Uh, it says use a paintbrush to paint your beads, wrap a piece of tape around. So it looks like they did too small, the big one, then too small, then an egg. So I'm thinking, let's count and let's do half of, I might do half of the little ones. I might do yellow, the harvest. We'll see. So there's five, 10, there's five. And then two. Okay, let's put these back in here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So five, six, seven, twelve. Okay. So twelve and twelve. Alrighty. Let's paint the big ones first. Put those there so they don't go anywhere. Okay, this is the fun, not so fun part of watching a video, right? This is not gonna be fun for you, but I'm trying to think how else I can do this. I don't have any baggies by me. Well, let's do our best here. I'm just gonna pounce this in my storm here. And we're just gonna try to get these colored as best as we can. That light adhesive tacky spray is holding these somewhat in place, which is good. Once this side dries, then we'll flip them into the other side and then we'll do those other ones with the shimmer harvest. Now that's, I, that harvest, the shimmers are hard to paint with. So we'll see how they actually show up. And I was at Kohl's today, right? I had to take some Amazon stuff back. And our Kohl's does that. They take the packages. Oh my gosh, you guys, they had some, and I don't, I, it's like rattan, 
Is it the tan? Is that what I'm thinking of? Um, oh gosh, I, it's like that cord, the rattan cord, and they have bunnies there. Oh, they are so darn cute. They're like two feet tall. So of course I had to buy them. Pounce him down here. So I think this will go perfect with those bunnies. Okay. Oop. Get back there. Okay. Let's let these dry here. And then we'll go ahead and flip them and do the other side. And then we'll figure out, I could probably use that baggie for the other ones. Try to get them colored up. flipped over. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to put a little bit of water in there. My gray, I think, is dry. It sucks up the water. All right. Oops. You're supposed to stay down. guy doesn't want to stay down. Okay, I think we're going to get messy here, guys. Okay, there's that one. This one's behaving, so we'll let that just stick. Can't wait to see how oh, this comes out. I am barely pressing. Get down. there. It's water soluble. I'll just wash my hands and off it will come. Okay. Is that just so much easier to do it right when it's in your hands? ever said crafts were clean. They are not. There's that one. done. Okay, we can put this away. Let's try, let's try doing this in the bag for the harvest. Let's go. 
clean our fingers first. All right, I think what we'll do is we'll add a little bit of water. And we're gonna put a scoop of our paste in there. And then we're gonna throw all the smaller beads in there. And we're gonna see what happens. Like I said before, I wanna keep my eggs white. Okay, so we're gonna keep those white. All right, so let's close it up. And then I'm just gonna kind of Roll it around in there. I've done it in the bag before. It does work. Um, then you just have to be able to put them somewhere to dry. And I think, actually, this might have turned out pretty well. So let me get... Let me get some paper towels because I want to be able to kind of let them roll around on that. Let's put this aside. Okay. So, put them on there. Okay. Now I'm gonna kind of, kind of cradle them and I, I bounce them around a little bit in the paper towel, lightly. Uh, I don't want the paper towel taking off all the color, but it will take some of that off, which is fine. It's still, it's still, they're still pretty much harvest colored. So we're just gonna pounce that. I do double up my napkin or my paper towel because sometimes it will actually go through. So just be careful. All right, and then we're gonna go get our quick dry tool. Let's get these dried up. And I will kind of move it around a little bit so that all sides of the beads get dry. This is gonna be such a pretty garland. Again, I'm doing it to match my colors in the house. You don't have to use the colors they gave you, um, but it is a kit. It is made to be used. All right, so I'm going to shake it around a little bit more here. Make sure there's no wet spots. Roll it around a little bit. A little bit, like I said, will come off. That's okay. That one has a big chunk of paste in there or something, wood. You can see that one's hole is full of paste, so we'll just knock that out if we can. pretty much dry. Um, if not, they will sit here anyways for a little bit. So now let's go back to our instructions. Um, we need to put on the little bunny tails. We've colored our beads. Oh, let's see. Wrap a piece of tape around the tip of your mid-length twine. 
wrap a piece of tape around the tip of the mid-length twine. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our bunny tails on while we're here. All right, so, oops, I need a stick of glue. There we go. A little dot. Put our little bunny tail. Oh my goodness, isn't he cute? Little bunny butt. And then, since he was facing one way, this guy is going to have his tail the other way. I don't think it matters, but in case it does, get his little bunny butt down. Hi, Kathy. Pearl or frosted colors? Uh, no, just the shimmers. That's, that's as shimmer you get. Nothing pearl. Although the shimmers, I think, kind of have that pearlescent look, but no, we don't have a specific pearl or frosted color. Thank you for sharing, Kathy. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. So now let's get our other beads here. Ooh. Look at these. So evidently you get three strings here, so... Let's, so there's that one. Let's see what they gave us here. So it says, wrap a piece of tape around the tip of your mid-length twine to ease the process of stringing your beads. Follow our shown bead pattern or create your own. Wrap your two long twine pieces around cardboard. Okay, so this, the longer ones, is what you use for your tassels. Okay. All right. We're going to undo that. We're going to grab our transfer tape. Or if you have one of those, um, remember those little blue things that I have? These are like a, it's like a dental, they're like little dental flossers. These are awesome for stringing beads as well. But we'll go ahead and tape the end. So I just kind of throw a piece of tape on the end. It just helps so it's not doesn't unravel. Okay, just twist that. All right, we're going to make our own pattern or we're going to follow there. So it was, we're going to do a plain, a yellow, a gray. A yellow. And then a white or plain. Okay, that's our pattern. And then we're going to add an egg. Again, I kept my eggs white. Okay. And then we repeat plain, yellow. Ooh, there was a big old gob of paint in that one. A big one and then yellow that's the problem with doing it in a bag it gets in your um, gets in the bead plain and then another egg I'm going to have like my eggs alternate which way they're pointing Okay, natural, yellow, gray, yellow, natural. 
Now this egg is going to go that way. How are you today, Kathy? How's your granddaughter? Okay. Ooh, these like beads look even spotted. They look kind of cool, I have to admit. They look pretty neat. Okay, natural, harvest, gray. Harvest, natural, egg, okay, and then the last repetition, natural, yellow, big, Yellow, although why am I going to have extras here? Yellow, natural, oh, I see, there's one more egg. One more eggy. You rolled away. All right, last time through. Natural, harvest, storm, harvest, natural. All right. Let's get the sturdiness out of here. This is the Hop To It Chalk Made Kit. Yes, isn't this fun? There's a link uh, in the description right to it, Kathy. Okay, so here's our garland. Oh my gosh, I love it. So I'm kind of using colors that they don't use. I used the harvest that oh, came with it, um, but I didn't use the coral or the Peachy King. All right. Next step, say, wrap the twine pieces around a four inch by four inch cardboard cutout to create the tassels. This is where it gets tricky. inches. I don't think I do. So let's go ahead and I am going to cut here about four inches. Let's cut this. I don't advise using our transfer triggers for that. You will dull them. Okay, what do you guys think so far? You like that? I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let's undo this. Now we're going to separate it. Okay. I do too. Okay, so we're going to keep it at the end because what you're going to end up doing is actually clipping it eventually. So let's just wrap that around. You could do it around your hands too. There's no law that says you have to do it around cardboard. All right, there's one. The other one. Oops. Come here, bunny. So 
somebody loves you. Okay, let's get to the end here. Okay, same thing. We're gonna kind of have it come to the edge and just wrap, wrap, wrap. <coughs> wrap, 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 wrap. This is making the tassels. I am not very good at tassels, so I hope this can teach me. If it can teach me, it can teach you for sure. Okay, we have our two wound up strings. So then it says, feed the excess twine on both ends of your garland through the wrapped twine bundles. Okay, I was wondering how this was gonna all come together. So we're gonna put this through this guy, okay. That one went through that guy. This one's gonna go through this guy. All right. Okay, okay. So we've fed it through to the end. Cut each bundle on each side of the cardboard square to create a fringe. Then add your ribbon and tie a knot to secure your tassels to the garland. I wish I could blow that up. So eventually we have to t attach it. Oh. Once all the beads have been strung, attach your bunny slim cuts to both ends of your twine and tie a knot to hold them in place. We missed that step. Okay, so let's do that. Let's get our bunnies attached here. Missed that. Sorry. Not quite sure how we missed that, but... Once and twice. All right, now that makes sense. Now we're cooking. Okay, I want to make sure this is nice and tight. Okay, now we'll put this one through the other bunny and tie it on. There we go. Okay. Now we're cooking. Okay, there, there is actually a little bit of give, so don't do it too, too tight. You need a, a little bit of a give. All right, now. Now we're gonna do that. Put that underneath. Let's do one at end at a time here. Okay. So, hold them in place. Next, wrap your two long twine pieces. Okay, did that. Feed the excess twine. Hold on, I lost my spot here. Feed the excess on both ends of your garland through the wrapped twine bundles. Cut each bundle on one side of the cardboard square to create a fringe. Okay, let's get out this. Get this ready. They're coming along, guys. It's coming along. Um, I'm going to pass on this color. I think it's very pretty ribbon, but because I didn't use the Couture Coral, I'm going to pass on that. We're just going to go with the natural. Oh, so they've cut, cut it for you. So you got two. And then you should have two of these. Very pretty. Um, I wish I had gray with me. I don't have any gray ribbon, or do I? Or do I? Let's see. 
I brought all my ribbon back from my studio. I had it there for a while. Hmm, something like that would be fun. In there. Not black. I could use black though because we have black. We could do white. Let's do what do you guys think about black? I'll see if I can find a gray, but what do you think of black? I think black would work. I'm actually kind of shocked I haven't come across any gray yet. Like, how do I not have gray? We may just have to opt for the black. Or how cute is this? My gosh, here's some carrots, but that's that would nah. That's totally against the vibe. That's green. Guys, I can't believe I don't have gray. How do I not have gray? This is so... Eh. I think I'm going to go with black. I think that should work. Oh. You think white, huh? I don't know. This is going to go in our family room, and we have black in there. I'm going to trump you. I'm sorry. I think I'm going to go black. And I just so happen to have a piece of black, but is it the right length? Let's see. Well, I'll be darned. That is the same length. However, I need another one. All right, we'll have to put that one away. All right, let's cut this one. We are getting close. Okay, let me hold this up to the yellow. Actually, I'm just going to fold this in half, looks like. And I'm going to snip this in, get all those loose strands out. There we go. All right, so black and a black. All right, so directions say. Feed the excess through. Cut each bundle on one side to create a fringe. Then add your ribbon and tie a knot to secure your tassels to the garland. Okay, let's grab our ribbons here. So I think I'm going to cut this part since that's that part. So Okay. 
I'm first going to loop this over. Well, let's cut our let's cut our fringe. Take this away for a moment. All right, and then we're going to lay her ribbon over. We may have to trim that ribbon, that's a little long. Add our black. And then add the yellow. So pretty. And then Add your own tie a knot to secure your tassels to the garland. Use the short twine pieces to gather the top of the tassels into a bundle and give them shape. All right, so you have your strings here. We're going to make that come to a knot. See, I would have probably rather have actually tied that first. Because you want to make sure you really get a nice tight knot around there so those strings don't come out. Okay, there we go. Then you can kind of hide that down there. All right, and then get everything laying down nice. Then they, they have these two little pieces. I'm gonna cut my own. I'm gonna cut a nice long piece here. You could just get grab some twine at the craft store. I'm going to leave the length, right? And then I'm just going to wrap this around. Actually, let's see. Is this it? This is it. I don't, that little piece does not do much. I guess, you know, just as a little, tie it up. I like it when it's, you know, a nice gathering here. All right, then we're gonna tie these two pieces together. I don't even know which ones I'm taking here. Tie that. There are strings everywhere, guys. I do not know which way is coming and going. Okay, double that. Bring that down and trim. All right, there. Now we have a cute little... Castle. I'm going to just pull on those ribbons to make those nice and tight. There we go. How cute. And then, of course, we'll mess with that tassel in a minute here. But we'll, what we'll end up doing is trimming this all to the same length. I'm not sure. I kind of I don't like that all different lengths, so I will definitely trim that. All right, whew, that was too much like work. Let's go ahead and get this side done. All right, too much like work. Let's speed this through this. All 
right? We're going to keep this because that is a pretty good length for our tassel here. All right, so you want to hold that so it doesn't go anywhere. And again, we're going to drape over that off white color. We're going to drape over the yellow. And then we'll drape over the black. And then we're going to come over here and tie it into a knot. So make sure that's tied pretty tight, guys. I just have a feeling it won't be tight enough. So make sure you get it tight enough. Come back through. Double knot. Okay. And just kind of bring it down along with all your other strings. Okay. Then you're going to take that string, bring it down, and then just wrap. Again, I just had my own twine, so I made a longer piece. They do, do give you a little piece just to kind of wrap around once, uh, but I like a thicker wrap. All right, and then once you're happy with that, grab that piece you started with, and then we're gonna tie that in a double knot. So there's one, and two, and those will lay down. What we're gonna end up doing is, I'm gonna grab one of those little, flossers here. They're really teeny. There's a ton in this box here. So you only pull out one. They get lost. Look how teeny that is. So then we're gonna take these two strings that are on the outside with the knot all right, we're gonna put that in there. And then I'm gonna kind of tuck these through. So I kind of need to find a nice open hole here. See if I can work that through. Let me bring that knot down a little bit. First, let's work that through. It's not easy, especially when you do it nice and tight. And eventually you'll find an open spot here. Maybe. Maybe. Well, I also have somewhere. Oh, let's see. See, now I'm just being a perfectionist when it comes to doing this. I'm sure I'm making things a lot more difficult than they need to be. Try to see if I have something thin that I can shove down there just to give it an opening. Like a little... A little brush maybe or I have somewhere I do I do I do sorry I do have here's what I'm looking for a needle this is those plastic like canvas um oh gosh those canvas like cross stitch things I can shove that down. There we go. See how I kind of tuck that in there? And then one by one, I can pull it through. So three, go through the hole and pull it through. And then that gets, the knot gets kind of hidden. 
Let's do it to this one. And then pull it through. So I'm learning, guys. I'm I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Okay, I'm pulling on the little ribbons here. All right, so that one is hidden. That way you don't have that one stray little string that drives me crazy. Little quirk, I know. Trim everything off at the same length. I like everything at the same length. You may not, but I do. Got that in the garbage, and then let's do this one. So you see how the knots are on the outside of that? We're gonna tuck those inward. And I'm gonna move the knot down a little bit here. There we go. Thanks, Kathy. All right, so we're gonna tuck that in. There's one, and here's the other. So feed that one through. Give it a tug. And it looks like by me tugging that, the other one kind of fell in place. So we don't need to mess with that other one. But I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna get it all the same length. We're gonna trim it. Give it a little haircut. And there's your tassel. And there, your, my friends, is your chalk made kit. Oops, I don't wanna throw away that. We wanna keep that. Here is my Hop To It chalk made kit. Oh my, he is cute. So stinking cute. Do you guys love it? <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Good job, pat me on the back. Woohoo! Everything can be figured out, friends. Everything can be figured out. So cute. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to bring out all my Easter stuff. So, so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this kit. Again, I went a little off the colors that they um, included in the pack, but um, I love it. I love it so much. It will go perfectly in my family room. And once I get all my Easter stuff, I will get that all staged. And if you have other little cotton balls, you can do both sides of the bunny tail if you wanted to. Um, how cute. I love it. And I hope you guys do too, or at least I hope you were inspired to do your own. Again, it's the Chalk Made Hop To It kit. Uh, description will of the video will have a link directly to that that will throw it in your cart for you ready to check out. Um, if you get your cart up to six, uh, $75, you can add the Barbie car pink exclusive limited supply jar of paste. 